you could you definitely right. come play. Wild. Yeah, so we got a SBT and Vivi. Uh, we got Fox Lucario. Yo, talking about two, Vivi just rolled out of getting second at the Forge this test Saturday. Yeah, but yo, my, my man Vivi was, he was how, feeling How the hell did that happen? I was there and I still wondered how the hell He's nice, happened. man. Vivi has been getting pretty much consistent top eights at Xeno like the past couple weeks, man. So It's crazy, too, because Lucario hasn't seen a lot of high-end representation. Yeah. Like, everyone uh, sort of dropped the character. Yeah, but that, that second buff that he got was really important. Um... Especially the buff to the down air, always connecting, the nair, having a bigger hitbox, so it could lead to more knockdowns for, Lucar knockdowns for Lucario. And there was already like a key tool for the character, but like, right now we got another nair machine, Fox on the field. SBT's Fox, always been looking fresh since the beginning of Ultimate. Oh yeah, definitely. He was actually talking about today how he feel like he's one of the more positive players about Fox. Like, you know, a lot of, a lot of players these days are like more negative on Fox for some reason. But um, yeah, but... BB with that mix-up on shield, that's a true mix-up, you know, the Aura Sphere to um, side B. Uh, force Bomb, excuse me. Yeah. It's like, so Lucario gets to do all these fun things, and then, like, give Morty a moment to play the game, and all of a sudden you see either that stock dissipate or just percentage build up incredibly quick. Because mm. Lucario is still combo for you. Oh, yeah, 100%. Ooh, yeah, he read the air dodge. I feel like he wanted to up smash. Um, Fox still one of those characters who can pressure your shield pretty well. Um... But one of the things that people look down right now about him is that he doesn't have those up tilt, you know, 50-50s anymore. A lot of people are just like, man, it's like really hard to kill with Fox now. You have to actually work for it more than other other top tiers. Yeah, so. as opposed to keeping people in jail, he's a lot more like traditional pressure, yeah. which I guess for Fox isn't traditional, but nonetheless, he's still a character that can get the job done. Oh, yeah. But getting back from the ledge safely is another thing, especially when Vivi's cooking big air spheres. Oh, yeah, and he's living that back air. Pretty surprised. Uh, almost at max rage. See, that's the thing that worries me about Vivi. Oh, he went for a falling up air off stage. That was filthy. That was far below ledge, too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the Morty up air. But, like, what I'm saying with Vivi is that he's he's not afraid to get mixy with his movement. Mm -hmm, just like that. But, like, it can also put him in really bad situations like we saw in his previous stock. He's still maintaining the lead. But I feel like that aspect of making good decisions is is still, like, absent from him. Unless he's, like, really on fire. Yeah. Um, you know, that's something that he's definitely worked on. Throughout, the, you know, his times playing, especially like Smash Ultimate Lucario, you know, just being cognizant of like how he's using his R S three movements. So he's not just be reversing into people just to do it. You know what I mean? No, I'm serious. That was like a big thing that he was working on. No, oh, you're right. But uh, yeah, man. Right, but right now he has that big lead. Got that knockdown to Forge Smash. Oh, hold up. Doesn't get anything from the jab follow up, but it would have been cute. Yeah, I think the Forge Smash is too slow to do that actually. Like, right. it's almost like a discount wolf forward smash, the way that he's able to use it just for micro spacing's purpose, and then, like, big payoff if it does that. Oh, yeah, 100%. Especially at, like, higher percents when he's at, when he has rage. Oh, yeah. So, that's, so that's actually a thing, like, uh, Fox illusion into up air at certain percents. So that's why you see SPT tech chasing with it. <gasps> Ooh. He narrowly avoided crazy. that. crazy! Yeah. He's gonna die for his efforts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air dodging out, though, is a thing that I feel like not a lot of players do. And, like, for characters like Fox that can afford to be off stage a little bit longer, it is something to look forward to. Although, uh, I don't think that was the situation to go for it. Yeah, I mean, the, he, was start, he was stuck in a situation where, like, he got hit by the Aura Sphere. He was going to die, right? And sure. um, maybe could have thrown out a Reflector, but it was one of those, like, you know, split-second situations that he reacted to. Uh, gave, him, gave him another lease on life, but, you know, just having a hard time just getting over that aura sphere pressure by Lucario at the ledge, like, you know, he didn't really know what to do, he was just trying to side beat through him. So. See, counter pick is Kalos? All right. Give him a little bit more room to play. Higher ceiling is going to be a lot more helpful for trying to avoid any shenanigans. Although, he was killing more off the side than anything else, so... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm expecting a little bit more passive play from SBT coming into this one, but it's Fox, so... How passive can we really be? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, just, just like that, you know, you see Vivi getting some of those um, platform extensions on the side of Kalos. Yeah, that's one thing he's always been good with when it comes to Lucario play, like, knowing, like, how far he can take a combo. Yeah. Like, and some of his reaction time is really good, because, like, Lucario is a character that relies a lot on, like, getting tech chase situations. So you definitely have to have some type of reaction time to get consistent punishes with this character. Ooh, not up to a in front of his face? It's this is not the move we used to know, man. It's still a good tool. Oh yeah. But like, yeah, he did to a lot of up tilts, man. Yeah. Cloud up tilt. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Who? Cloud. Uh, what? Cloud. 
Up tilt, never heard of it. Ooh. Yeah, down air side B. Just like that move, just down air in general, just disconnecting and more consistently just makes Lucario just a threat when you're boxing with him in front of, in front like that. It's just a, it's a it's a mark of a really good character in Ultimate where the character just has like a generic hit confirm that they can either get their kill out of or get some sort of string. And the fact that Lucario has such a consistent one that Vivi's not afraid to throw out willy nilly is just dangerous. You have to be aware of that danger. Mm -hmm. And so something that SPT is doing, right? Like, I know he's going for a lot of those side B tech chases to, you know, get Lucario in the air, but he hasn't really gotten a lot off of it. Um, so maybe, you know, a good back air by him, catching Lucario's recovery. So like, maybe just like slow down a little bit, see what he's gonna do after after you knock him down, right? Like right now, like the world is Vivi's oyster. He's been able to play with SPT a lot in this set, and I feel like that's more to the fact that Morty hasn't been able to get a solid landing. Oh yeah, no. Like he's getting his his nares, but it's more like a it's more like a check than anything else. The Fox illusions aren't leading to too much, and even at that, up till it landed, but he was still he wasn't getting anything off it. Yeah, so like yeah, just like one good thing Vivi's doing is he's constantly moving, right? He's not letting Fox land into him with nares and just like land on him for free, because that's what happens. You let Fox land on you for free with his aerials, like you're gonna have a hard time dealing with him. I feel like that's the reason where a, a lot of people are starting to become a lot more pessimistic about Fox and Ultimate. Because, like, really early on, no one knew what their defensive options or their counter offenses were. So they let Fox just do stuff on them. But, like, now everyone knows, like, oh, that's not plus. You're not allowed to do that. Eat this. Nonetheless, yeah. not dead yet. Big blast zones of Kalos coming in clutch. Yeah, I mean, as, you know, SPT with the <laughs> patience at the ledge did not matter. <laughs> okay. Let's hold up here. Yeah, let's see. It. Ooh, okay. Yeah, see, empty, yeah, empty land grab, man. That's still a thing that Fox can do. Yeah, I feel like it's actually a bit more rewarding than anything else. Besides, you know, <laughs> up smash. He said, okay, well, <laughs> I missed the first one, I'll just do it again. <laughs> okay, yeah, getting that grab. Yo, I'm seeing these hits connect, and Vivi just, like, just checking SPT before he gets anything started. He's almost sad. I say almost because this is still a very winnable match. Oh, he got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. He got the got the side B to up air. Didn't kill him though. And this is danger time for SBT because like if he could just die right now, like he better watch how he lands in front of Vivi with his nair because I know Vivi's looking for looking for the whiff punish uh, forward smash right now. Like Vivi's been getting a lot off of SBT just putting dumb options in front of shields, yeah. and uh, unfortunately like. Not much is changing for SPT on that front. Yeah. He's, he, I, I know he's looking for a, either a knockdown or a whiff punish right now. Instead, they're both animals. Yeah, and didn't get that tech. And that's why we're going to get Yeah. Okay. Hey. Uh, good stuff for SPT, though. Yeah, he kept it calm and collected. Which I feel like that's, like, number one priority when it comes to fighting Lucario mm -hmm. of any skill level. Oh, yeah. At all. Because uh, if you don't, he could just erase your stocks like nothing. Um... I've seen characters die as early as like 30 to Lucario, mm -hmm. so like, I've seen you know you never see. <laughs> the, the infamous uh, VV forward smash Fox, I mean forward smash Wolf at 30% into death into your carry pop off. <laughs> 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 that's, the, that's the legend. The classic. Uh, we're going to PS2, man. What do you think about that pick? All right. Well, it's going to give both characters a good amount of space for comboing. And I feel like, as far as like the set is concerned, it's a good pick for Vivi just because he's been dictating where the match is being held and like who has control of the stage. Also, ledge play has been heavily in his favor. So I feel like it's going to be difficult, more so than the previous two games, for SPT to find a landing. Yeah, like, um, yeah, you see SPT getting some early strings. But yeah, like just the main thing right now is like SPT landing and this SPT landing a hit. Right, because Vivi's been doing a good, good, um, having a good time, you know, mixing up his landings. But right now, he's just getting, getting stacked up right now. And I brought this up at the beginning of the set. Like, if Fox is allowed to land, if he's allowed to play the game, then yeah, Lucario's just gonna get cooked. We see that right out the gate in game. Three. Yeah, and Vivi got the bounce. He, he definitely didn't want that bounce off the um, side of PS2, and that's how he got back here. Like, really low back here by um, SPT also. A bit unfortunate, but I can still see this being a tight game the way that it's been the past few. Oh yeah, definitely, because like, Lucario's a character, he, he's honestly just never out the game. No matter like how many stocks you're down, what percent you're at, like, there's always a chance. And especially as of late, I've noticed Vivi's like still keeping consistent with his Aura Sphere pressure, regardless of how tense the situation gets. Yeah. 
And, you know, speaking of the Aura Sphere pressure, I think uh, SPT has caught on to some of uh, BB's Aura Sphere patterns. It, just, it seems like uh, SPT has just like slowed it down a little bit. Just He's actually waiting for BB to move first, where before he was actually reacting to what BB was doing. Like, Lucario's a really good character for being able to trace aerial options and then catch the bad landing. And we've seen that even in just a set. But Fox is also really good at that, so a little bit of patience on SPT's half has been going a really long way. Yeah. And also, um, you know, Lucario is a character, you know, even though he can play a little bit kind of mouse, it's kind of tough for him to chase characters. So that's one thing, you know, right, because right now he's at a deficit, and chasing Fox around the stage when he's just slipping, sliding around, it's not the easiest thing to do. Even though Fox's movement patterns can be linear, it's still a matter of, like, picking the right option once you see where he's going, what button he's going to be pressed. Yeah, he's still fast. <laughs> like, okay. Right now, you know, SPT just taking his time. He's not he's not pushing the envelope too much. You know he's in the lead. What are you going to do about it? I mean, if anything, all that aura, all that rage is blocking up for Lucario. So every little hit that VV does manage to land on SPT, it's going to matter just that bit more. And I, I'm really loving how SPT is playing this right now, man. He's just not taking any chances. Like, there's no reason to commit to anything right now. No! He wanted to land and shield, and now, now, now it's time to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a commit. Now, oh man, now it's it's danger zone time. Ukara's numbers are red, you're not, doesn't matter. Even game. <laughs> Oh no, don't get, don't, oh, just, oh my god. Any, I feel like oh, any other option. Oh, he's getting antsy, he's getting antsy, he's getting antsy. Yeah, this is, oh, he can't get antsy right now, oh, okay. Cannot get antsy right now. That's what Vivi's looking for right now. Stress riding high for both players, it's really oh, no, anyone's got the bounce. game. Don't roll into him. You died. Oh, no. but he reads the wrong option coming in, hold on, what's don't gonna happen? Don't jump, you're gonna get. Don't be in the air, no. don't let him Did grab you? that. Oh no. He's no. not dead, he's not dead, he's not dead. But yeah, that move in particular just has a really high chance of getting dramatic finish, regardless of if it kills or not. But that oh. being said, Vivi <laughs> is on the hunt for that kill. He's almost going to get it, too. No. But SBT, he's going to throw away two stocks right at the end of it all. That's going to give Vivi the win. He double SD'd. That's crazy. That's so sad. He double SD'd. He got... Oh, man. I just think that was a case of just, like... I think especially, especially the second stock. I, like what he wanted to do was he just wanted to fast full, fast full land with shield onto the end of the PS2 platform, and he didn't get it because like he just didn't want to get hit, and um, cost him the SD at second stock. And like the third stock, he was just getting antsy for the kill, man. Cause he he sensed that he was just like man, Vivi's pressing the A button, um, Lucario Nair is zero on hit. I mean zero on shield. Like he, you knew you had to respond with something. The problem is, is yeah, just like yeah, that was a. <sighs> God, he missed the platform. It all crumbled <laughs> away so fast. Oh my God, he missed the ledge. Oh my God. And you, you even like the tension of the end of the game. Like, look at that angle. And I don't even. Oh my and God, that's such a hard. That's a heartbreaker. I don't care what anybody. Like says. I know what he tried to do. He tried to ride the wall, but like he didn't even really need to. I just think he, like, and I think he overthought that because in his head he probably said, "If I go straight up, I'm gonna get hit with Aura Sphere." I feel yeah. like that's what he thought. But in reality, if you go straight up, you're just gonna snap, bro. Yeah. He's, like, he's safe. Yeah, man. Oh, man, that was that was rough, man. I mean, good stuff on Vivi for keeping it together that whole time. But Yeah, 